and ready to do this one. Two-tone 55 Bel Air. It's got the red interior. It's got a 350 under the hood. Aluminum radiator. It's also got the uh, power brake setup. Nobody put power steering on this one yet. I bet it'll have it eventually. Like I said, two-tone paint job. A lot of chrome. Exhaust kicked out the side right there. A set of rev wheels, disc brakes in the front. And she is shining. A beautiful paint job. I'm sure there's going to be some chips. Uh, probably some scratches. If there is, I'll let you know in this video. There will be very little, but I know they're there. Throughout the test drive, you'll see how it steers, how it stops, what happens when I floor it. This is all the stuff on the dash work. I don't know. All I need you to do is hit subscribe and share this video. I do appreciate that. You can check out our financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Just like the door panels, the carpet, and the interior has been redone. The package tray is in good shape, and your headliner is pretty clean looking. On the dash, pretty simple here. Tip gauge, oil pressure, tack, and speedo. You can see, I bet the speedo is not working. Look at the mileage on it. You got a radio. Yeah, you got some other gauges over here, volts. Old oil pressure gauge. Let's go ahead and start it up. Give it a little gas. See our oil pressure gauge is coming up and working. Tip gauge hasn't really had an opportunity to go up. Something I don't see in here. I'm looking a little bit harder. There's a gas gauge. I don't see one at all. Well, that being said, you know where we're going straight off the bat. We're going to the gas station. This is one of those aftermarket uh, digital radios, and it's not cutting on. So that one's going to need to be uh, buttoned up. As far as wipers and stuff, where do I go? All we have is a switch for the lights. I don't see a wiper switch on this car. I'd assume it was right there. No. If I find it, I'll let you know. Horn, place your bets. Do you believe it works? I haven't tried it yet. No indicator on the inside of the car here. I'm sure they work on the outside, but if they don't, you'll also know that through the video. We'll be doing uh, the camera on the front and the rear checking the headlights, turn signals, tail lights, and turn signals in the back. With well, that being said, temperature gauge is coming up. That's good. What about the horn? It's got a spring in it, but it's not honking, and I don't see a button anywhere. For now, let's hit the road and see what else we can find. Okay. A little squeaky there. I need some oil on that hinge. Tack is not working on this one. And it's been raining all morning, it cleared up. But man, it got humid out here. So if I'm sweating a little bit, yep, I'll be sweating. <laughs> here we go. This is the first time that I've driven this one. Just like I thought, the speedometer's not working. Shifting smooth, engine temperature's up, 180. 
Brakes feel good. Suspension's a little stiff. See the bump there in the back? All right. Well, we're gonna pull in here. We're gonna get a little bit of fuel. I'm gonna put about $20 with the premium gas in it for one. I don't know how much gas is in this at all. I want to make sure we don't run out. Starts and stops. Good. Let's put some fuel in it. There's no gauge there at all for the fuel. But we know we're going to have close to five gallons in it. So I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, this thing's full. Full of gas at 4.2 gallons. Almost $18 worth. It goes in right here on the side. You can see it kind of spit out on the ground there. I wiped her up, cleaned it off the paint. I need to get some grease and put it down here. That's why the door is squeaking down there. And there's no gauge, so we just have a completely full tank. Let's roll. Heading on back to the lot, got y'all on the wide screen in the 55. I went ahead and did the walk around here in the parking lot too. That way uh, you could see chips and scratches, all that good stuff. And of course I got the screen set up where you can see everything in the car. Still pulling to the right. to manually turn off your turn signals nice little bump in the road right here the suspension in the back is fairly stiff on this one ahead and roll on through here we're getting ready to pull back into the car lot guys be sure to hit subscribe and share this video and 
I'll see you here in a moment with uh, the section of the video that's going to be showing you chips and scratches. I'm going to get this one parked back over here in the line. Thanks for watching. this ride we're gonna be picking out the flaws detailed pictures maplemotors.com we got financing and shipping available too on that website so go there check it out coming up front it's like the bumper on this one is beautiful somebody's changing everything out on the bumpers now your turn signal has a little bit of pitting on it headlight bezel about the same your grill got pitting on it tires look good they're coming down the side Tail lights on the back have some pitting on them too, but they're changed out to LEDs. And the paint on this thing looks great. Got a little chip there, a little scuff there. spot there little chip there bubble in the paint front windshield looks good the seal looks good paint run right here trim window Seal around the van window is cracked. A little dimple here. Your back window is good. Your trim looks good. And it's been raining like crazy here. So if it was leaking, oh, we'd see there's a little bit of water there. We'll make it to the trunk here in a second, but I just kind of wanted to see, jumping ahead of myself. It's like they tried to seal it up in the corner there. A little hazy. Trim's discolored here. A little scuff or something up there. That looks like it'll come off. Coming up on the back bumper. Chips in the jam. wet there like I said assuming that came from the package tray where the window meets and the seal there even though it looks good still got in there somehow not completely soaked or anything but it is in there and I didn't prep it and wipe it all out this actually sat over the weekend and I just pulled her straight up to do this video
She looks good though. Coming down with it. Little chips in the corners there. Sitting high right here. It didn't lock. Let's shut her again. Now, oh, it locked and came unlocked. Let's look at it. May need to be greased up, it feels okay. This also can be raised. But to me, it looks like it's all the way up. Let's try it again. We'll give her a good firm shut again. Now it's locked, okay. But the trunk's sitting a little high. Not up top here, you're just down on the edge. Little bubbles there by the exhaust. Mark there. Couple chips. right there sorry about that wind but man it feels good it's getting rid of that humidity for me <laughs> at least it makes it feel like it's not humid out here a little bit of pitting here like right, before i know it, it'll be freezing out here that's how it goes if you're not hot you're cold little chip there but i guess i'd rather be hot Let's open her up. Check out that interior. Come off there on that clip. dirt on the edge there oh, that's water a little moist on the edge here so the little dark shades is water it's wet a little bit of a leak in here could be this seal right here not matching up could be the windows could be the front one. Could be. It's, it's sitting outside. It's a 1955 model. I mean, <laughs> but we tell you, missing the handles for the crank windows in the back. Piece hanging here. Car 
carburetor's flooding out a little bit, which is making it to where I'm stomping on the throttle. And it's starting right up. Idle's high on this one, ain't it? See if I can finger it out. I need a flathead. new gas lines and stuff there's no one that's running all the way to the back uh, gas line up top not too bad I'd probably tie that up away from the valve cover there it doesn't look like it's doing anything make sure that's not gonna get too hot and start melting and then with a flathead Get that idle down, which I might actually do. Motor's quiet though. Coming down with the hood, the trim on the front's pitted. And it's locked. crack there. Couple little chips. That's wax. Guys, a beautiful car. It runs and drives good. Idles a tad high, which is not an issue. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping, maplemotors.com. Be sure to hit subscribe. Share this video. That's going to help me out quite a bit, guys. See you in the next one.